Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're walking down the main street here in West Hill on the Citadel server. And uh, we're going to put away some of the things that we had replenished at the end of the last stream. We had gone on a little bit of a walk around, grabbed some moss, grabbed some golden carrots and things. So we need to stock back up on some food and some rockets and then get on with the rest of our build today. Big thanks to... Mind Trip Media with 100 bits kicking off the stream and the lurk, I am sure. I appreciate the support as always. So, we've got some stuff there to put away. I've got some shulker boxes that need to be put away. And some of this is stuff I need to bring out. Some of this is stuff that needs to stay here. So this was for golden carrots because those are low. Yes, so we need gold. I'm getting a little low on gold. I don't know if I have a glass bottle chest. I guess I'll put them in there. Swiftness and water breathing. I gotta remember those are there. I always, I always forget those are those those are there. Break these down. How we doing? Almost. A little bit more. My view feels really close for some reason. I don't know why. And we'll do another stack just for us. Mosaic Dream, hello, welcome back. I'm on 7K, hello, hello. Blast Jordan, Obu, good to see y'all. Elkhorn, the mighty Elkhorn is also kicking around in here somewhere. How do we how do we know if Elkhorn's here? Do we kick the tires? Do we kick the antlers? Do we kick the hooves? How does that work? So I've got a little bit of carrot left. I guess I'll put those in there. And then we can fully put that up. I might actually sacrifice a couple spots here. I'll do it that way. Don't need anything else there. Keep the bed. Mangrove can go back outside. This stuff was all just placeholder. That extra mud. That's coming back outside with us. I feel like I can put the mud in another box, maybe? Oh, there's the carrots. Never mind. I do have a spot for those. Uh, I'm not 
sure where we throw the mud. I guess that just goes in here for now. Don't need that. We'll do some rockets. Good, good. All right, that's sorted. Put those in there. That's done. That's just empty. And then this stuff can all go outside. Perfect. Okay, uh, we'll bring this. Leave that, bring these three, and I think we're in business. Oh, and the mangrove. Yep. Cool. Jay Chris, it's a good day so far. It is indeed. Rain. Surprise. Oh, thanks for listening to the Spawn Chunks, Aman. Appreciate it. We got a good episode out there right now. Uh, Impulse SV from the Hermitcraft server was on the show. Uh, and from the Imp and Skiz podcast. It was a really good conversation with, with uh, Impulse. That's the spare. Uh, oh, no, that doesn't go there. I think we're finally ready to go. Yeah, I like the Impenskis podcast too. It's a good show. Find that wherever you get your podcasts. Just look for Imp and Skiz. I'm sure you will find it. YouTube is probably the best place to watch it because they do a video podcast. But if you are someone like me that often, listen, often listens when you're on the go, then um, you will uh, enjoy having it on your on your phone. I use downcasts. That's my favorite. So at the end of the last stream, as far as builds, we were working on making this feel like a wet section of grass. I'm not super keen on the actual parts of water. I think I want to replace those with more of this saturated leaves, waterlogged leaves, and I think I want to expand it to be out there. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is get moss and azalea leaves and a bucket of water and just expand it. We should probably go in sections. And of course, my azalea leaves are all inside. Crap. 
All right, fine. I'll go get him. Bucket of water. Yeah, Impulse was nice enough to stick around for the render distance on the show. So if you're a patron of the Spawn Trunks, you'll get an extra 35 minutes, I think. 30 minutes with Impulse. It was great. I am looking for Mangrove. No. Azalea. I don't have a ton of those left. It was a really good conversation, CJ. Yeah. We talked about uh, content creation. We talked about some of the bigger projects and challenges that Impulse is dealing with on Hermitcraft. The main conversation was about the crafter and how that's changed the way that he thinks about, about Redstone. It was very cool. Yeah, the conversation with FWIP was fun too. So FWIP being a builder, we focused on obviously the, the new building blocks and stuff in 1.21. Uh, Hermitcraft hasn't updated to 1.21. So there wasn't a lot of conversation there to be had. But they've had the crafter uh, and a couple of the 1.21 blocks via data packs for a while. All right, so I'm going to start poking holes here. Oh, I guess I could just make it green. Less expensive block. Yeah, I think that'll work. I may not want to do all of these like this, but... I think maybe I should do the leaves first. And then I can decide which ones I want to make into water. This I think is going to require a lot of the top down. So I'm okay with the brown, but I think the brown is going to happen closer to the marsh. It would be a lot faster if I didn't have to also remove this bottom block. So already you can see I'm kind of increasing the circumference on this. I think I'm going to bring it all the way over to here, too.
trick will be not to get some of the other bushes too involved. Try to keep, create like a separate plant for one versus what's happening down here. Where's the granite coming from? That's bizarre. I'm not sure whether that's naturally generated or whether that's something that I placed there. They tried to go up to 1.21 and then crash the server, yeah. Yeah. On Hermitcraft. Yeah, I saw um, Exuma Void's tweet about that. Apparently it's a real problem. Apparently it's really tough. So I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Um, I'm feeling left behind though. Um, I mean, granted, it's by choice because if we wanted to just eliminate all of our mods, the problem is that some of my mods are performance based and I need them to, um, to stream. It feels like a lot of stuff in a straight line here. Let's uh, try to fix that. Actually, that was probably okay. Getting there? I think I have to get rid of this little bush here. Because I want to come out here with some singles. Nuclear nuke, hello, welcome in. Elkhorn, pretty sure that is not a command. He just says, I love hearing people talk about building block pallets. Really wishing that more builders were talking about how useful a heavy core is as a detail, detail block, though. I think it's being ignored because of how hard it is to obtain, but probably one of my favorite building blocks added in the update. Well, yeah, I mean, because it's, it's so hard to get, I wouldn't even consider it a building block. I, th I think it's an item. That's how Mojang designed it. If they designed it to be a building block, then they would have made it a lot easier to get. I'm not saying it can't be used or shouldn't be used. I'm just saying that I don't see myself using it as a building block because it just it's a giant pain in the butt to get in a area of the game that I don't have much interest in. Not poo-pooing the people that do, right? That's starting to feel a little bit better. I always want to hit escape to get out of that camera mode, but that's not the 
Not the right button. Uh, the work and lurk. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, I think if they wanted it to be a building block, they shouldn't have made it uh, placeable. Uh, sends missed messages. Yeah, that's fair. They probably made it placeable for consistency, though. Just because anything that looks like a mini block like that. I'm glad it's an, it's, a, it's an item like that and not like a pixel thing that floats in the air. Right? See how that is that gonna look okay? I think that would be fine. Ah, oh, it's so much easier when it's not stone. Feel like that's getting there. Maybe a little bit more over here. Don't have my shears on me. That was a mistake. Watching Scar talk about how excited he is to use the crafter as a building block and Tango being, wait, what? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. The crafter is a great block for both things. You, sh you should hear how Impulse used it. I mean, if you've been keeping up with Impulse, you probably know. Uh, but he described on the podcast what he's been doing and how he's been using the crafter. And uh, it was really cool because he... Um, he found that there's a little corner blinking light on it and he put four of them together. And when you power them separately, it creates like, if you can imagine like this four by four of shulker boxes, each light blinks on one at a time. And all it is, it's like a corner pixel. It's like, it's just like that big round. And it's just these little, this little pixel of red kind of like tweakly lights that he's got working. Um, he and I have the same sentiment about um, Minecraft lacking motion. It needs more things that move. I would love them to add something similar to a piston, but have it be slow. You know, like a vertical, some sort of vertical transport for items, but have it be slow. And if you could do something where it could move things that would go in a circle or cycle, cycle up and down doesn't have to be perfect we could still make our own little redstone bits about it but i think it just it would be fun to have some movement what was i looking for shears and those are fixed now crafter is a great building block yeah i agree cj ceiling block textures i one of the points that we made in the show which is something that i've made on the show before which is the need to um to have profession blocks be oops uh be multi-directional in terms of how you place them
might have overdone it a little bit over there, but that's fine. That's a decent pass. Maybe I'll put another few over on the left-hand side here. Yeah, like there, and maybe there. All right, I feel like that's a good pass on the bushes. So now what I want to do is I want to go in and put in as much moss as I can. Try to keep it varied. Try to connect things as best I can. Doing pretty good through here. I think I want to remove these. And probably switch this out. I wish there was a faster way to get buckets into your inventory, or into your hotbar, rather. So probably that one and that one for sure. Out of moss. Blast Jordan, thanks for the lurk while you're working. Appreciate it. And thanks to anybody that does that. It's such a, such a great way to support your favorite streamer. That was not good. That seemed like a little bit of server lag. I don't think that those will look good. I imagine they're just going to be too bright. I don't remember what else I had over there. Yeah, hundred percent more blocks could be rotated. Yeah. Yep. That was my point on the show. Just imagine the smithing table, like all the different textures that you can get for walls and ceilings and stuff like that with a smithing smithing table. Man, I'm having a hard time talking today. It's a good thing it's not my job. It's a good thing it's not my job. So I'm going to throw this down here just to see, but I'm assuming it's going to be far too bright. Yeah, that does not work at all. That's fine. All right, what is not working in here? I think maybe the soul sand. Uh, 
Oh, I need that. Do I like the green concrete? Hmm. I guess it's the only thing that really goes between the blue and the green is the dark green concrete. That right there. Not concrete, sorry, terracotta. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it. I can't think of anything else that would go there. I think that's a decent pass on that. So now I'll go in and I guess we have to figure out which ones we want to waterlog. And I have to remember how I did this on the end here. Double stack, right. So if I wanted this to be water, then that has to be moss. Oh, they both have to be float, I think. Yeah. I do indeed talk for a living, I know. This comes as a shock. Well, that's too bad. Thought I could fill them both up at once. So it's starting to feel waterlogged. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get more buckets. Exuma has fixed it. I wonder what the problem was on Hermitcraft with 1.21. Because they've got a lot of stuff similar to what we have on the server here. How far am I going up with this?
Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay on the server today for some reason. I don't know why. It's pretty good. I might want to add in another one right there. Sure, sure. Oh, joy. Interruptions. Oh, the frog lights are probably going to be good to get. Same with the bubble coral. Not getting my sponges though, man. That's a hard no. Prismarine, another wart block. Yellow concrete. Okay. Um, prismarine bricks, yellow concrete. Another and prismarine. I hope that all of these are something that carries over when we update to 1.21 with the new data packs. Otherwise, I'm going to be really disappointed. I was going to say mad, but I can't really be mad. Nether wart block, bubble coral, and pearlescent frog lights. And bubble. Well, I also need emeralds because I think that he probably probably used up the last of mine last time. Will I go to the stone cutter for what, Dan? Right, uh, emeralds. I was right, we don't have any. So I've got to go trade, and I was thinking I was trading leather and coal, I want to say, were the things that I was trading. Mackins260, thanks for the compliments on the spawn chunks. I'm glad you like it. I'm assuming you're talking about the spawn chunks because you're in a a Minecraft stream, but there's also the Citadel Cafe. There's a new episode of the Citadel Cafe that's out there too. So if you like the spawn chunks, you might like the Citadel Cafe. Will I go to the stone cutter for mini blocks, Dan? Again, Dan, it's really hard to keep up with chat. You need to be a little bit more clear. Um, leather. We have a lot of both. That should be enough, I think, to get some emeralds. Uh, and there's links to everything uh, Mackins at... Uh, joelduggan.com Uh, which village was it? It was... this one.
Vanilla Tweaks 1.21 can use the stone cutter for mini blocks. Yes, yeah. Uh, we will be getting rid of the wandering trader. I have no desire to spend emeralds on mini blocks. It it I do find it interruptive and I find the wandering trader is so annoying. I would much rather just talk to everybody else in the server. Uh maybe we'll find a way to create a data pack for um small drip leaf somehow. And then we'll get rid of the wandering trader. Now, one of you trades leather. Emeralds for things. And one of you trades coal. String. Also string coal. Oh, he's been canceled out. Which mods am I still waiting for? Uh, I don't know because I can't, I have to go through my entire list one at a time to figure out which ones are not working. And I just haven't had time to do that yet. Clay crap. I thought we could trade over here. I thought there was more. More trades. Maybe the leather guys at the other other village. Anybody remember what profession block makes leather? The villagers are obviously breathing. Cauldron. Yep, I think, unfortunately, unless these guys reset. Yeah, all right, let's go find another one. Aldabar, hello, hello. The 12 month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer for Aldabar has entered the third month. Thanks for giving Cosmic that shout out, Aldabar. Cosmic, if you're watching later, thank you ever so much for the support. I have to agree uh, how annoying and pointless the watering trader is. Quite unfortunate. I hope they re revisit this part of the villager trade rebalance and scrap the rest. Yep. Yep. It wouldn't be so bad if you didn't like show up in your face. Like as an end game player, it's just annoying. As a content creator, it's even worse. And I know that's a small niche part of the people that play Minecraft, but I just, it's so tedious. Right. Cauldrons. This is the one with the, the dude. I don't know where he is though. I could just steal a couple of those cauldrons and bring them to the other village. That might be the easiest thing to do. Where is the villager? Wherefore art thou? There you are. He's got a coal trade too, even though it's never a good one. I don't think I need more than 16. But I'll trade some coal while I'm here. Oh, that's flint. Never mind. Whoops. That should be all we need. Actually, let's... Uh... Nah, whatever.
Alibar says, Joel, I took some inspiration from you while I was making some decorative crop farms on my single player recently. So thank you for the inspo. Hey, no problem. I That's a great compliment. That's one of my favorite things about this long-term world and some of the things that I've done is that people are taking inspiration from it. We're starting to see a little bit of an uptick in the people that watch on YouTube as well. So the spread is slowly, slowly going. I got a really nice compliment from Impulse on Monday's show. Um, I was talking about West Hill and streaming and stuff and just kind of casually mentioned that I do this all live on stream. And he was like, wait, wait, wait. You you don't do anything in creative? Like you just you do it all live right there? Uh, yep. <laughs> and he was just like, whoa, that's, that's kind of mind-blowing. It, that, it was a really nice thing to say. All right. Uh, I guess I can just leave this out here. And now the list. Um, prismarine, prismarine bricks and yellow concrete. There is the concrete box somewhere. Prismarine. Yellow concrete. Prismarine, prismarine bricks. And nether wart, pearlescent frog lights, and bubble coral. Bubble coral. I don't think I have pearlescent frog lights out here. I have them inside somewhere. Yep. And nether. I don't think I have another wart block. I might inside, so we'll have to go back and get that. What is the story behind my pickaxes names? I kind of name them part for function and part for just fun alliter alliteration. Normally... It's uh, a female name with some um, descriptor. So what's this one? Wendy the Stone Whisperer is the, st is the silk touch. And I think Harriet the Hammer is my, um, my fortune pick because it breaks stuff. It doesn't silk touch them. It's not gentle. Uh, Netherite Axe doesn't have a name. Daisy Digs a Lot. It's just a silly name. Kind of like Daisy Duck. That kind of stuff. Nothing too crazy. Um, then I just need nether wart blocks and pearlescent frog lights. I do find sometimes this interrupts the flow, but at the same time, I'm I'm gonna want to have all these things while I'm building the sci-fi area. Although, now that I know that there's a data pack for the stone cutter, maybe I should ignore the wandering trader from here on out. Do I have nether wart anywhere? Not enough for a block. Uh, I might if I go harvest it. So we'll try that. And pearlescent frog lights. I could have sworn that I had some frog lights here somewhere. Oh, there they are. So I planted just a little bit of nether wart back here, and it might be just enough for us to get a block. And that'll, that'll grow black, back. Cool. Oh, did I leave the gate open? I did. Turing 79, hello, hello. And 
to craft this into a block quickly. Those ones in particular, I think, are pretty interesting as far as the um, the sci-fi zone goes. That's basically what I'm doing is I'm thinking ahead and trying to grab blocks that I think will be good for the sci-fi zone. Those are all together there. And... Do I have space for this? I do. Definitely something I'm going to do when I switch to that sci-fi zone is reorganize my ender chest. Alcorn, thanks very much for the reminder. Appreciate it. We'll put these mini blocks away and move on. And we've kind of built up a, a decent amount. I'll have to get some shulker boxes to bring all those back. All right, folks, I take a break about once an hour and it is that time. So I'll uh, grab another cup of coffee you should do. Grab a drink, grab a snack, maybe even poke a friend in the arm and say, hey, we're watching Joel live on Twitch. Come over and hang out. Always trying to grow the channel. I'd appreciate it if you could spread the word. It's at Joel Duggan on Instagram and on Twitter. I'll be right back.
bit of an extended break there. Sorry about that, folks. I have a friend in town and we're trying to do some coordination so we can hang out this week. Uh, I've mentioned this in the Discord, but I have not yet mentioned it in this stream, actually, so it's a good reminder. I am going to be moving my streams this week around a little bit. Uh, nothing too dire. I'm not going to cancel any streams, I don't think, but uh, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday are both going to be 9 a.m. streams instead of 1 p.m. because uh, I have plans for the rest of the day. So that's the plan. Whether or not I actually get in front of the mic at 9 a.m. is something else entirely. But that's the that's the plan. Okay, so now I need to get back in here with my buckets. And I think I might try to get some darker foliage. I don't think jungle is what I want, but we'll try it. So now there's just this weird kind of bubble of brown, but I do also want to hit a couple more spots with blue. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more in here, maybe. Yeah, like right up near the edge. Oh, that's already, that's just reading as the wrong thing. I see. Let's switch this around then. What I'm trying to do is soften up the edge here a little bit. And it creates that little bit of flow that helps. Uh, that's actually looking pretty good. Maybe here as well. Talking with Impulse on the show on Monday really made me miss doing Redstone. I'm hoping to be able to do more of that in the near future. That's what the sci-fi area is going to be a lot of, I think. It's going to be a lot of Redstone. Yeah, I think that works. So now we just have to go over here a bit. And start to make this feel a little bit smoother. Should probably start up front here. Wow, 
Obviously, the closer to the marsh, the more wet it would be. Well, that's weird. Yep, it's starting to work. I don't necessarily want to make more buckets, but I feel like eventually we're going to need them. I'm glad that doesn't affect the bush next to it either. Good. I'm sure I've said this before. It's effective, but it is slow going. I think it's starting to work. We're going to have to figure out what other colors we want to move into the pattern, but they're not colors, I guess tones. Maybe I've gone a little bit overboard here. I wonder if there'd be a way to upgrade water in Minecraft to give you some sort of like infinite bucket or bucket that would hold more. Something like that would be cool.
It does remind me of those farming games where you have to go back and forth and back and forth and get your buckets of water for your watering can until you eventually unlock sprinklers or whatever the the tier is that gets you to the automation. Everything's great. Happy. Appreciate you being here. You really enjoyed the guest on Spawn Chunks this week. Really insightful discussion. Take care and keep up the great work. Thank you very much. I'm We're getting lots of nice compliments today on that conversation with Impulse. I'll have to pass that along. Um, it was uh, great to talk to him. It's uh, his third time on the show. But uh, yeah, it was really fun. If you like that, y'all should check out the Imp and Skiz podcast. I'm sure you probably have watched, you know, watched it before or listened before, but it's absolutely worth checking out. I want to put something right here, I think. And then over here, okay, I think that's probably pretty good. I might want to sneak one more in over here. Yeah. Okay, so now what's throwing me now is the brown. The brown is kind of messing me up. And I think what I'm gonna do for some of this is where there is the brown, I'm gonna try to replace it with the azalea. So it goes darker, even though that's not going to show up on the map. It's that or we try jungle. Neither of which really make a big difference. Although it does break up the pattern a little bit. So essentially what I wanted to get right was the water. And now I'm starting to add a little bit more texture to it. And I'm also trying to think about how I'm going to replace these brown blocks. Because I don't love them. I guess we could try those stairs, maybe. Something to transport water like a hose. That would be pretty funny. I don't know how that would work in Minecraft, but I like the idea of it. I don't know about an infinite bucket, but maybe like an enchanted bucket. So giving one bucket eight levels similar to like how a composter i think has eight levels do you know what i mean like because can't you is it bedrock where you can fill a cauldron up like bit at a time 
Because in Minecraft, it's just one, one go. And your cauldron fills up. That would be cool. Um, stairs. Can't think of any other stair color that would work. For stuff like this, I tend to use ice. Yeah, I find that that's slower in general. Breaking ice is a pain. I used to have a lot of buckets. I think they're all filled with lava somewhere right now, but my solution was to just basically fill a whole bunch of stuff with, with uh, just make a ton of buckets. That was my solution. Now that just shows up as blue, I think. Yeah. So I don't want to do that too much. I think it's a little repetitive. I guess just because it's got a block, like a leaf block in it, doesn't mean it has to be water. Trying to break up the pattern a little bit. I feel like that's working. trying to think about the darker leaves being closer to the water and the lighter ones being farther away. Don't know what this would look like on this side. Yeah, not quite as good. Not bad, but not quite the way that I want it. So yeah, I think these have to stay. Azalea.
bottle of waters phil connor and stages in north version i don't know what north version is both versions maybe right yeah well that's made a big difference i think i'm gonna get rid of this brown i think that's something that's really messing with me Yeah, the blue is what I want. I think the blue is the darkest thing that I want to see here. I wish I had more textures. We can maybe get into some azalea up here. Oh, that's going to be a pain. be careful because I could use the concrete powder as well but I have to be putting it somewhere where it's not going to turn into concrete like I can't put it anywhere in there put it here but not many other places If I put this in here, will this be hidden by the stair, I wonder? Yeah, very close. That works out well. The very 117, 118 block palette, that's for sure. Well, that's interesting it the stair flows a certain way i didn't i didn't catch that before Yeah, that's really going well. All right. I don't mind the cobblestone. I think it's working all right. It's kind of uh, mirrored over here with some of the cobblestone. So it seems to work. It makes logical sense, I guess.
Oh, those are kind of in a row, aren't they? So I wanted there to be brown here, but I really don't think that's going to be something that works. We don't have any kind of cattail or anything like that, unfortunately. That works pretty well. I don't know that I've used this many azalea saplings in one area before. It's an interesting color that it brings. A lot of yellow in it, even though, or yeah, I guess yellowy green. There's a little bit of brown, I guess. Yeah, that's coming together. Fazu Battlecaster, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Now, if there's a few spaces along here, I can throw some of this concrete powder. That would be excellent. not going to be everywhere. Sort of looking for a puzzle to solve, you know, like I, I know where I want to put it, but then is it next to water? If I do that, it's going to turn into concrete and comes this whole mess. There's not many spots. So 
so now I think we have to do a little bit of the long grass and then some moss carpet to kind of top it all up. And I think I've got a decent amount of long grass in there now. It's not too, too bad. Uh, let's, hmm, maybe there. And then place else I can maybe use some moss carpet. Trying to create some depth. Same time, I don't want to overdo it. I think that's pretty good. I think it looks like water kind of soaking the ground and running down into the marsh. Outside of like actually having some sort of trickle here. I wonder if that could be something I could do. Maybe just one little bit right here. Maybe indicating that it comes in from the road. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Yeah, surprisingly, I, I thought I was going to like the brown, but the moment you put brown in here, it just, it really starts to take away and it doesn't feel quite as good. I thought I saw some brown on the map here a second ago. Oh no, we're good. So that, that to me feels like it flows better, right? Nice. All right, let's put some stuff away here.
and that I'll all go in there. Oh, do I not have space? There we go. Got to have all the all the things. I really didn't lay that many carpet down. Yeah, I think that works out really well. It's a lot of work for something really subtle. I'm resisting the temptation to do more of it over here, but I think we're okay. Uh, so that actually is something we can check off, I think. Where's my book? So now I'm gonna do this from the air just so we can see a little bit. Everything between the road and the curtain wall is now done. We've got details, paths. That's a little bit on the sketchy side. Maybe I'll add some textures there, but. I mean, I'll change that to tough when we get tough, but I think that that's pretty good. I don't want it to distract from the wall. Uh, north gate, crossroad. Tough slab, uh, that needs tough, I guess. Can I have another return here? Yes. So, I'll call this done because it's designed, but it needs tough. Uh, edit crossroads path near pumpkin farm. We've done that. Oh, there's no more characters? Um... Let's call it edit crossroads. That would be northwest. West of River Inn. Curtain wall field, extra path to the east. Extra path to the east. I did the extra path to the east. Kurt Mallfield, north Mar Mars grass. That's what we just finished. West Hill River in grass. Right. There's an extra path to the east, so we've done that as well. I don't know if that's done, done, done. Area complete? Uh, yeah, this area is complete. Uh, the curtain wall field, I think, is the uh, this other one. So if we look over here, this is the one, the east field. And I've got this path, but I don't, I wouldn't call this done because it doesn't have any texture around it. Like the, um, see, like this part here, it's got these little textures on the outside. But over here, I did not do that because I didn't know what was happening here. So we're going to leave that for now. Uh, and then I also don't know what I'm going to do over here. I'm actually, you know what? We've got a couple minutes here at the end of the stream. I think I'm going to throw in a little foundation and maybe we'll think about what could be 
what could be done there. Just something temporary. Flowers? I wish I had like a cat hiss noise on my stream deck. Dan repping for Cosmic? Yeah, that's fair. As one should. So, I'm thinking... I don't know if it would be a lot. I, I kind of want to put something here. Like a house. But it doesn't feel like a very big space. It does not feel like a very big space. A tree might be better. Because I also don't necessarily want to block that entire field right so whatever it is would be kind of like in this space right here i also don't want to block the view of this so we could maybe have Something here. I probably should be using a scaffolding for this, but whatever. And if this came right up to the road... That could be good, that could be bad. I would definitely, well, you'd be able to see the field on both sides of it. I would keep it pretty simple. I don't know. A shed? Yeah, maybe. I was thinking it would just be someone's house. Maybe we can change the arrangement though. Maybe it should be here. Have it face the actual road. Oh, no, that was right. Hmm. It would hide that ugly hill. As long as it doesn't overlap the inn too much, I might have to move it a little bit to the west. We've got some room. I feel like that makes sense. One of those things I can leave it there for now. It blocks less of the of the um, field when we do it that way. So I like that. I think I maybe will move it back south a block and then over at least one, if not two. I don't know about two. I 
Well, maybe. Oh, this has to go back one too. All right, uh, let's do this. I think I like this part being more forward. Word Nerdify, hello, hello. Chili Bella, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Yeah, so there, I don't think it would overlap. You'd still be able to see, we'd have to be careful to make sure we can still see the towers. And it might not be this big, we could make it smaller. But I think that's probably as close as I would want it. Because we'd probably end up having some sort of like little path here. Like that. What's well, the chicken's house now? Yeah, I might even want to make this smaller, be more challenging from a roof design standpoint, but this could be an even number. Just to make it feel a little cozier, a little smaller. But I think that would give us some, uh, an opportunity to maybe put like a little garden out here some flowers and stuff. I know I said the F word. <laughs> um, but I think that would help break up that hillside a little bit. Speaking of... Ha. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, how does it feel coming out of the inn here? Or not the inn, the town. So it would be behind the tree. Covers up the barn, but that's fine. But it doesn't cover up the windmill. That's good. I'm trying not to create more work for myself, but boy, there are some hills in the background that I really do not like. There's another one over there. I don't want to lose the trees, but I definitely don't like the way that the rocks look. Yeah, I think that's all right. I think we'll leave that there. I'll let that percolate. I might put a roof on it, like a roof frame, just to kind of see what it might look like. And we'll think about that as something else. And that would be what we would do on the 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 west hill or the west river in lawn that's what i mean by the west river in lawn cool well we were able to check something off get an idea for next time i am going to pass you all along to exuma void who should still be streaming i believe they are on the hermitcraft server today as they usually are and uh, i'll be back tomorrow again i mentioned uh some different times this week because I have a friend in town, so I'm going to be trying to stream 
first thing in the morning tomorrow at 9 o'clock Atlantic a.m. Same thing on Friday. Friday would be the Lego, and Thursday tomorrow would be Minecraft. Uh, that's unless I feel like playing something different, but I, I think we'll probably stick with Minecraft just because I seem to have more to do. And uh, I will, of course, uh, point you towards the Spawn Chunks podcast where I was joined by Impulse SV, who was very kind to fill in for Johnny while he is on vacation. And uh, Impulse and I had a fantastic conversation. That's episode 306. It is available everywhere you get your podcasts, including YouTube. Uh, no video, um, no video this week because Johnny's away and Johnny does the video editing. I just do the audio editing. So that's what's available now. Uh, there will be hopefully a new episode of the Citadel Cafe coming out soon, as well as um, more stuff on social media, which is Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And uh, don't forget Patreon if you want to join the Discord. If you don't already have a Twitch sub, then a Patreon sub is the best way to do it because it's only $2 a month, less than the price of a cup of coffee. Keeps me streaming. And uh, I really appreciate your support. Appreciate you all hanging out this afternoon. As the sun is setting, I'll pass you on to Eximovoid. See you folks later. Bye for now.